this is it. Okay. Plus 18 because it's the first time I'm using smite, plus 9 because I'm using smite. Uh, smite. But is you. That's a hit? No, that's how much damage, damage. I do. Oh. Guess, guess how many HP he had. One hundred and twelve. Yes, one hundred and twelve. <laughs> okay, I was correct not to use my ultimate ability. Mm. Yeah, you can describe. I'm guessing it's something like suddenly you see a blur when Otiros is just charging straight through the air on his glorious uh, flying mount. I think I gave you a griffon or something. Like that. Yeah, you did. Like and flying then, down. And then like suddenly. Coming yeah, you say. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly it's something like in anime shows, basically there's a flash of light, the monster suddenly like looks like, eh, what, like he's, what just happened? And then just, poof, there's spray of the earth on, there's a large, basically half of his body is gone basically yeah, because yeah. the power of the, power of the attack just basically t tear through him like a knife through a butter. Elias looks down as a gigantic hole inside of him, like, oh. Yeah, oh. Omari was in the room. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so he's deader than dead. Hmm. My next character is going to be a samurai named Inigo, Ma Inigo Matoya, and he's looking for the man who killed his father. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and because you attack, then the invisibility is gone off, hmm. like, not active for you. Mm. Okay. okay. If I had used my ultimate, best. if I would used my ultimate ability, my I would have doubled my damage. Yeah. Mm. I seem to have a health bar. Interesting. Yeah, Incredible. I gave you uh, because if you fulfill the second part of the health bar, it just shows you what's your max HP and then uh, how many HPFs you have, and that gives you health bar. Awesome. Just how the roll twenty works. Anyways. Uh, even though Genkiro, your spell worked on almost every V-Rock, uh, of course this attack was very visible and very loud, and the attacker itself becomes visible. Yeah, he just uh, ran up to him, uh, hit him, jabbed him a few hundred times, and uh, yeah, just just walked off. Yeah, and the V-Rocks are still sure that there is only one guy because they held the heroes previously. Or maybe maybe they think there might be another one, but they are not sure. So what they... They just they, saw one of them rip through their comrades in one blow. I think they're gonna be concentrating on they me. They can do. Yeah, they, they will definitely. I'm just checking if they have anything interesting that might just maybe grapple or not. It's gonna go on the toilet right real quick. Yeah, it will be yep. some time before you. It will be your turn again. Okay, so this one was flying. So. Once per hour. Ah, too bad because the heroes need, will need to make a fortitude save. Anyways, you see, as he can move here, I guess. For now, it will be only one Virok. So you can see, as this one is flying closer to the Otiros, and suddenly there's a loud screech in the air that just. It, it would be deafening if you were closer, but it's probably. You, you hear it, definitely, but for Tyros it will be slightly worse unless he will make a save. Hmm. Do you remember his fortitude saving throw? Guys? Hmm? Who? Uh, do you remember Otiro's uh, saving, uh, fortitude saving throw? It was plus I do not. 12? No. Okay. Is he not here? Yeah, he said he... Uh, he just uh, went to the bathroom. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay, so before we're gonna do that, I'm gonna see what the rest of these folks will do. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, he'll definitely move closer. 
something like this and the second guy will also move closer Simon thank you are you still yep. with us yeah for for a moment yep. you just disappeared from the roll 20 do you like my idea uh, yes I feel like it'll work quite well just it's your strength again uh 20. Hello uh, again. And I forgot to mention, but as they were moving, all of now all of them are are flying. Mm. Uh, Otiros, that... what's your uh, for? I need to to make a fortitude saving throw. Well, okay, fortitude plus fifteen. Yeah, mm. so it's a high chance that you will pass. No, rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> yeah. Basically, there was a loud screech from this uh, Virok that mm. intended to stun you, but you shrug it off with no problem whatsoever. And only then the two guys, the two Viroks left, they only like moved closer, so they were not in range when this guy used his uh, oh. uh, ability. Couldn't they use a full round action to run all the way or something? Mm. Well, that's an idea. But what's your reach? 10 foot? Yeah, 10 foot. Okay, so we won't get attack opportunity because they have the same. So yeah, they only spend full round to get in... to get in range. Is it with range? No. Mm -hmm. So that was this guy and because 50, so... Yeah, they will definitely move. Mm -hmm. Something like that, mm. yeah. I mean, they can I think charge, I'll have but... to grab their, try to grab their attention to get mm. some of them closer to us to pull it off. Yeah, for now, basically, well, he made a charge, and of course, he's the prime target after what he done with the Virog. They see him as a prime, prime danger. Still, best then. All right. Gun Hero, what's your speed in your fox form? Still 30? Uh, yeah, still 30. Alright, so then I'll be moving to there. And as I do that, I'm going to be yelling, Hey, you fucking ugly vultures, over here. In... And like start swinging around my sword to get rid of my invisibility. In which language? Aklo. Uh, Actually, no, I'll go with Abyssal. I know they're demons, they can, they yeah, can understand it. Yeah, Arclo doesn't work, uh, Abyssal works. Yeah. I think Celestial would as well. Which Actually, no. Would Celestial yeah, work? Yeah, they Virox speaks Celestial. I'll do Celestial. it in Celestial, just to piss them off that much more. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe this one, like, spares you a glance. I could do an Intimidate check if you want. <laughs> You can you can make it, but it will work work only for this one, because he might be in range of your hearing. And yeah, the buzzing becomes slightly louder. I rolled a one. <laughs> I'm guessing that doesn't work. I'm I'm more trying to piss him off than intimidate him though. Y yeah 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 I know but. So I think failing my intimidate check might actually piss him off more. <laughs> nah, it's like I will do if he would talk, but he doesn't want to, he will not probably say something the human, I'll deal with you later. Alright. Something like that. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, suddenly the buzzing becomes much, much louder, and you can see that uh, the VASP are coming together in a terrible, terrible swarm of death. Well, they are not that powerful. I didn't use... There's a very fun template to swarms. Which is called Apocalypse Swarm, but... <laughs> I decided I'm gonna leave it for later use. And they pop up... Here. Hello again. 
yeah, they. F oh, okay. okay. So yeah, right. they they form, and of course, this is not a surprise round for them or for not anybody because everybody knew that they are here. They just needed a little bit of time to uh, gather up. And I don't remember exact rules, but I'm go I think that at the end of the they deal damage if at the end of their turn uh, somebody is at in the swarm basically. And of course they have obvious uh, target because they the Helva swarm has intelligence. When they form together, they are like a hive mind. And uh, they obviously know that Dotiros is now the most dangerous target. Mm -hmm. So they move oh, on God. to you. No, I can't charge. <coughs> <coughs> Curse they, them. They move on mm -hmm. to you, and because they will end their turn at your uh, field, then. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna say, because I don't remember the stats for your flying mount, I'm gonna say they only focus on you because you are that much danger for every evil being in this room. <coughs> so, at first, you, because Swarm, there's uh, 3d6. Uh, so you can, if you can get your token, you can yeah, minus so. 13 HP. They... Plus destruction, plus poison. Uh, destruction, destruct. I'm gonna. I will need to check it on the uh, site. Hell was wrong because destruction does something that is uh, not nice. Destruction. A creature with disability can nauseate the creature that it damages. Any living creature that takes damage damage from a creature with destruction is nauseated for one round. If you make a fortitude save, it negates the effect. So for destruction, you will need to make a fortitude save. Low DC, I'm guessing you will probably no problem with it. Yeah. That's it. Fortitude save or what was it? Or fortitude that, uh, for destruction. Yeah. Um, what? Mm. It's plus fifteen. Your destruction. Uh, your fortitude. Yeah, but how high do I have to get it? I will tell you. Oh, very well, very well. <laughs> what's the fun in saying? <laughs> wow. What's that? Okay, so you pass the destruction. There's absolutely no problem. Even though the bugs like was swarm all over you, they bite you. You you faced it bigger bigger guys and horrors uh, uh, in your past. So that's this, and you will need to make another fortitude save this time for for poison. Oh no! And you will need to make uh, two consecutive saves. Twenty-one. Okay, make second save. Oh dear! Oh, two. As I said, two yeah. two consecutive saves. One, of course. Uh, okay. So the good news is that it won't be active for the next six rounds. Okay. The good. bad news is that you lose five dexterity. Huh. Not much use for dexterity for me, but sure. Uh. Yes, they bite you. You feel that you are maybe not exactly agile as you were, but you don't feel concerned by it. I Slightly guess. sluggish. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that was their turn. Uh, Genkiro. Save yep. me! Mm, right, I'm getting a <laughs> two move actions to move over to Vesten. Like so. And since he's a fox, he can actually do that. Yeah. And I'm gonna so pick I him up as up he runs on. by me. Okay, that works completely. Yep. <coughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, I'm guessing that will be the end of your turn. Yes. Okay, Altiros. Just so you, I can remind you because that's common knowledge that you do not provoke attacks of opportunity when you leave the field of uh, uh, swarm. 
I okay. think I'd go before the V-Rock, because I have a much better initiative. Hopefully. Yes, yes. Uh, what's your plus to initiative? Plus nine. So, yeah, you will go before the V-Rox. Okay. Because they have plus six. Mm. Okay, Atiros, whom do you so attack? I move out of this and attack this bastard. I challenge and smite. I have like one more, I suppose, but I don't mind. Okay. Mm. Okay, challenge. Yeah, to hit unless, as I say, unless you roll one on d20, then you will hit. Okay, three, three attacks, so. Uh, okay, so just roll straight 3d20s and. Yeah. Slash or 1d20, 1d. That simplifies the matter. Yeah. Because you have so much fucking bonuses to hit that. Unless you roll a 1 for these guys. Ah, damn it. 1, okay, 1d20. Uh, let's roll again. Another 1. Okay. Roll, roll. There we go. Yeah. Really, that's I, I, we were hasted, weren't we? Mm. Yeah, you were hasted, and I'm pretty so fun. If you if you wanna, you can roll f the haste attack roll. Yeah, that was the haste attack. I only have two regular ah, okay. attacks unless I have haste. Unless okay. you really want to, I'm guessing that this guy will die. Yeah, I mean, I could roll one and give me a triple regular roll challenge plus smite. No, that's wrong. Uh, regular roll damage. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he pretty much died. I, I, just to be sure, I use the litany, litany of righteous, not righteousness, which doubles my damage. So it's, he's sure to die. So yeah. Okay. Mm. So you can this time you can describe in which oh, manner he uh, dies. Coming out of the box, from swinging my hands around, I see one of the re, re rock. V rocks in the middle of the air, stabbing his one of his wing, uh, stabbing one of his wing, but one of his wing, and as he starts to flutter around, I drive my spear straight at, straight through his head and just smashes him downward towards the ground. Very nice, mm. very nice. In all blood and gory, and <laughs> this is a yeah. paladin, folks. Yeah. Ultimate slayer of monsters. Uh, and now will be Vesten. All Car right. Now carrying a fox. <laughs> Well, Throw the I'm fox at to... the swarm! <laughs> no, not the swarm. Yes, I'm gonna move me. there. And I'm going to... Throw Ginkira at the V-Rock. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say, like, you can roll to hit with your, you know, typical range attack bonus. <laughs> If he fails, he's going and, to fly into the and, west. I ain't, I ain't giving you, I ain't giving you the penalties for using improvised weapon. I'm just saying, just roll to hit with range weapon. <laughs> mm. Just to be completely sure that Genkiro lands when where where he needs. Yeah. <laughs> so Genkiro, when do you, or maybe where do you target specifically? Uh, I aim for one of the wings. Okay. Cool. So yeah, suddenly there's uh, a small fox landing on the one of the wings, and there's like the Virok like screech like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like so. Yeah, yeah, I, I get get the idea. We can't jump. We'll just throw each other. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Who needs flying form? mounts? <laughs> yeah. And I hold off for dear life. <laughs> now. now now, can I throw myself at the V-Rock? <laughs> <laughs> I can carry yeah, my own called... weight. Yeah, it's called jumping. <laughs> if you wanna jump at the V-Rock, I'm guessing it will be... still acrobatic strike. Yeah, Wait a second, how difficult. long... How, how tall are you, Weston? Uh... I mean, in the... 5'8". Like 5'8", five eight. Five eight, and, and you have 5 foot reach on your weapon, you pretty much only need to jump 5 feet to reach it. Yeah, I'd probably do a long jump too, and then just try to like grab <coughs> one with my weapons. Also remember, if I didn't fuck it up, because I right now I remember that at least one of the Virox shouldn't be dead because he has. No wait, uh, fuck, I forgot. Uh, is Otiro's weapon treated as a good one? Yes, I am smiting too. Ah yeah yeah yeah. 
have you smited the first enemy? Yeah, I smited both of them. I only have one smite plus challenge. Actually, I think I have like two plus challenges, but only one oh, smite yeah, so, left. So no, I didn't fuck it up because I think I thought for a second that I forgot about their damage resistance, but not. Mm. So yeah, they are still dead. Kiss uh, Paladin. Kiss Paladin, yeah. Cause yeah. Paladin. I have three smites per day and uh, cavalier. But I'm guessing your move action and I'm guessing throwing in here was a semi-standard action, so... Yep. My guess. It, it, was, it was an attack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now... We should make this a... We should just make this a regular thing. Yeah. I mean, technically, he was still invisible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he hasn't yep. done anything yet, so he's, he's yeah. suddenly the V-Rock is being oh, yeah. taken down by something. True. Still, small fox, he ain't that weak. Like, v rocks have, like, nice strength <laughs> bonus. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna check if these guys are immune to that. Give me a sec, I need to check one more thing. And I have enough dexterity to aim it too, but that is added. Swarm traits. I think with a 30, I could probably like throw you across the farm. <laughs> oh dear. Probably. Oh, that would be so fun. Ah! Actually, no, I, um, play like a large and like just pick up a halfling and throw him. Because <laughs> you have like oh dear God. this amazing bonus to grab him because you get a bonus to CMB to stuff that's smaller than you. So you just pick him up and throw him. Mm -hmm. And you see him flying away in the horizon. <clears throat> Looks like the whole thing's blasting off again. Bing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you do that against an enemy, like a really, really badass halfling dwarf who fails a roll and you just throw him away and never see him again. <laughs> yeah. So this guy flies up uh, here. And... Because he doesn't have improved that, you will get attack of opportunity as he tries to uh, not swing by, but grab and uh, fuck. What's the word in English for that? Uh, what is trying? Like take away from you and just throw away your weapon. He's trying to disarm you. Really? Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. But because that's uh, yeah. attack of opportunity, then I guess. Mm, Speaking yeah. of which, I'm guessing they don't have any weapons or anything. Mm, nope, they only use their natural attacks. Okay. Yeah, I don't have that much damage when I'm not, I'm not smiting, so uh, let me check. Uh, I suppose you can't do a power attack, but an attack of opportunity. So. I think this is my ro to hit damage without anything extra. Yeah, you will hit. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, and oh, I for fuck's sake, I forgot about so good thing that they had. Mm. Uh, Don't they have magic too? Yes. They have one spell that will be very good f in this fight against Otiros. 21 damage without anything. Yeah, he will survive. So he now tries to like disarm you. So he rolls his. What's your CMD? Uh, Combat maneuver defense. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty-five. Okay, he fails. Haha! <laughs> You're not stealing my lands. Not to get to <coughs> another one. Yeah, the second guy, this one. He kinda uh, realizes his mistake and with small invisible fox on one of his wings, he casts a spell. Oh dear, he has to do a concentration I suppose because because Genkira is gnawing his wing, but yeah. Mm. I yeah. don't think so. But he's standing on his wing. Mm. But unless... Would it count as a grapple? Oh, yeah, it probably does. Just remember that these guys are kind of large, what? 10 by 10, and now Genkiro is a small fox, like... Okay, okay. True. He doesn't matter. <laughs> could I... Could I pin him? 